I'm Fiora Fatmo Sili, and this is my world. I wish I could get a bonus after every World Cup, and I wouldn't be driving out of a car that the window wipers don't work, so... <laughs> My name is Fio Fatmosiri and I'm the captain for the New Zealand Women's Black Ferns. I was born in Samoa, moved into New Zealand when I was five years old, and I grew up in Mangere East um, with my parents and my eight siblings, so big Samoa family. <laughs> I made my debut in 2002. Yeah, and I've been <laughs> playing for them for a very long time up until now. I still think I'm quite young. <laughs> yeah, I get a bit of, you know, slack from them, but I guess um, once they see you on that rugby field and once they see you running around, um, you know, you're just young as you feel. That's what they say, so if they can't keep up, then something's wrong with them. <laughs> There's a lot of people in the crowd, but only you can dance with me. My family's always going to be that, always supportive. I miss out some gonga ease and that, but they understand. Um, so I, family time I sort of lose out on. Um, uh, maybe having a family, yeah, is something I've delayed as well. And probably finding a lifetime partner. And I think after the rugby's over, then I'll have more time to devote to other things. But you'll be the most cat female. <laughs> Yes, I'll be there. I'll go get there first, so <laughs> once I get there, then I'll tell you, yep, I'm the most cat free by playing. <laughs> <laughs> so my full-time job, so I'm a detective constable. I love it. It's something I've always wanted to do in life, and this is probably the best way I can give back to my community and, and work in the area that I grew up in. Being Samoan, um, female in the police is, is a big bonus. You get a lot of respect from the Polynesian community because they don't actually um, see a lot of Pacific females in the role. I think the big thing for, for being a Pacific female in the job is that a lot of the young ones can see that, you know, you're there, that it's, it's doable and it's achievable and it's within reach. <laughs> you do see a lot of funny things. I'll tell you a story, like one of my first um, robbery scenes I went to it was a dairy. Go, I walked in and took some stuff. So what they said, oh, and also they um they left one of their jandals. I took the jandal in as an exhibit, and I'm thinking, who the hell is that? Who that? So I put it aside just to get it tested, but then I saw the the face of the guy, and I thought, oh no, here we go. So I went and did a search run at the house. I found the other pair, the other jandal there. <laughs> Question on which other Daniel then he had nothing to say. It had to be Jandal too, so you know it was an islander, so yeah. <laughs> That's happened more than once, so it's like, oh gosh, why don't we just leave your ID there too? Oh.